Hello, my name is Dr. Bernhard Noll. I'm a food engineer in Germany and I want to give you a short introduction on a process I invented about 10 years ago. It's called the RapidoJet High Pressure Mixer. The basic idea behind RapidoJet is quite simple. To form a dough we need at least flour, water and energy and the idea is to combine water and energy by applying a high pressure jet. The flour is fed continuously through a screw feeder into a mixing chamber. It's free falling and it's hit by atomized water droplets at high speed between 200 and 500 kilometers per hour. And at this high velocity, the water droplets hit the flour particles, penetrate, moisten it and uh, hit it against the mixing chamber wall. And this gives a strong impact. There are no metal tools, there are no hooks, no bars, nothing. This is the mixing chamber device, the heart of the Rapido Jet. It's basically a tube, 50 centimeters long, with a high pressure nozzle inside, and no tools at all. This is an example for a complete setup, including high pressure pump, control panel, a uh, transfer pump for, for dough and this machine makes uh, more than 4 metric tons per hour of sponge. On the right you see how the mix is released from the mixing chamber and on the left side it's coming from a transfer pump. Here we have a very liquid sponge. We can make any hydration level between 10% and 350%, whatever we like. And this, we are not limited. We, we just have to adjust the nozzle and the mixing chamber configuration. So the next day, when we had a look at this sponge, there was a nice consistency, a buildup of uh, viscosity. The gluten has developed. Here we see the hydration of bran. We spray directly into the feeding screw of a transfer pump. You see that it looks like liquid when it's released from the mixing chamber, but on the wall you see a buildup of very solid material. Bran usually takes two to three hours to absorb the water completely. With Rapido Jet hydration, it's absorbed immediately. So we can use the brand directly. We see a baking test now. On the left side it's the use of brand trimixed. On, on the right side it's hydrated by Rapido Jet and uh, you see a huge difference in product quality. In this example we spray directly into a rotating mixing bowl to collect the material. And now it's in slow, slow motion and you see clearly it's not a compact dough, it's a kind of mist. And as soon as it, it's collected in the mixing bowl, it's a solid dough. We could cut this with a, with a knife. Here we hydrate whole grains. Depending on the firmness of the kernels, we are able to reduce the steeping time significantly. In some cases, we could reduce to two to three hours instead of eight hours overnight. And you see there's almost no free water, even if it looks at the moment of hydration quite liquid. Up to now, we have shown the hydration of miners or liquid sponge, but the real challenge is to make real bread. This bread is produced just by means of high pressure jet. So instead of mixing 10 minutes, we do this in a fraction of a second. We achieved a good volume and a nice fine cell structure, and we could increase the hydration level by at least 5%. So what we did on the right Bread, we 
did some additional mixing one minute and we see there's no additional volume the cell structure is a little bit coarser so there's no benefit from having more mixing after a this test. is so this is so cool this is so cool let's dump this in brian look at this brian look at 100 percent hydration this is 100 percent hydration in no flipping time is what they're looking with for. With no again. mixing energy. Is you get it as thin as you can, you put your finger through and if you get a nice clean it's a it window means, test. It means it that looks, it's looks developed. Like if it's the if it's rough, then it means it's underdeveloped. The gluten structure is instantly developed. Look how thin I mean, he gets it. Oh, and then he breaks his finger, look how clean that is. Perfect. To summarize, with Rapido Jet, we don't use any mixing tool. The gluten development happens within a fraction of a second. The hydration level is at least 5% higher. We have no increase of temperature and due to the higher level of water we have a better shelf life in the finished product. We use only about 10% of the normal power consumption compared to conventional mixing. Too good to be true. More than 25 installations worldwide prove that it works. Challenges, thanks for watching.